Hi guys and welcome to another video by myself, Bates and 87 EA have gone and released a skill upgrade. Hence you need to back out of Ultimate Team, back into Ultimate Team and there will be a little squad update for you and that has introduced a new skill upgrade into Ultimate Team. Now unfortunately as I'm making this video EA haven't made the list but I found 11 or 12 players for you guys to look at and they'll go through them with you today. There's going to be a lot of tears though, uh, or as Nepenthes says a lot of tears. So if you guys do want MSP, PSN codes or cheap game codes go and check out G2A.com, their link is down below. If we try and hit over 5,000 likes, that'd be absolutely brilliant. Always bringing you the fresh new FIFA Ultimate Team information. And uh, yeah, G2 FMSP, PSN codes, what if team of season? 5,000, 6,000 likes, and subscribe to me if you're not subscribed already. So the first player we've got, guys, today is Andre Gomez from Valencia, going from two star skill moves all the way up to a massive three star skill moves. But this is his informed version card as well, so it may knock his value up a tad bit anyway. Next player we've got is Attila Turan. Um, from Liga Un, Turkish uh, left back, 6-9 rated, not many people are going to care for him. He has gone from 2-star skill move to 4-star skill move, which I think is the highest rated jump so far. Um in this list, so it's not that bad at all, but obviously I don't rock with Silvers as I prefer Maxwell and obviously uh, who else is out there? Kazawa uh, as well. So bit of a pointless upgrade for me. We have uh, Sonny Aluko from uh, from Hull City in uh, the Championship, jumping from 3-star to 4-star skill moves. This guy is a beast anyway. Not a bad silver card. I've enjoyed playing with him when I did the best possible championship team um, and a few other teams as well. 4-star uh, skills is going to make him an absolute tank. And if you guys haven't used him already, I really recommend doing so. Next one we've got is Akil Emana. I think this guy has got a silver card. He's got a silver informed card, maybe something special like that. Um, but his cam has jumped up to a 4-star skill move striker um, cam as well but a lot of people do play him at striker. Next one we've got is Karim Frey as well, jumping from 3-star to 4-star. A 90-pace left midfielder for Besiktas in the Turkish League. Um, very solid as well. 4-star skills. Yeah, you can do a few more extra turns, can he, rather than just the pace. We then have um, Kalici. Uh, the Manchester City striker who did get an upgrade from 67 to 70, 85 pace, 4, 3 star skill moves jumping up from 2 star to 3 star, um, still quite an expensive little silver striker anyway because of his pace and obviously playing for Manchester City but the upgrade as well is there to add on. Next one we got is Trejo as well from uh, Toulouse in Liga 1, Argentinian, 80 pace, 81 dribbling, jumping up from 3 star to 4 star, very solid little player, I actually enjoy using him anyway but it's made him even better now he has got 4 star skill moves. We also do have Vincent Abu. Ubercar. This one's probably the best one for me. Um, Portuguese league, Porto striker, 85 pace, 80 shooting, 81 physical, 4 star skill moves now. Jumping up from 3 to 4. Very, very solid card and I can't wait to uh, have a better play around with him in the future. We then have Musonda as well. He's got two cards. One of them's in uh, La, La Liga. One of them's at Chelsea. He's uh, obviously a Bonds player, 62 pace. Very average player. A lot of people think he should be 5 star but he's gone from a 3 star to a 4 star um, and he's not the only Chelsea player to get upgraded as well. Then we move on to the big boys guys. We have Faguli. This is Man of Match card. Going from a 3 star to a 4 star. 90 pace, 78 shooting, 78 passing, 86 dribbling. Solid fucking card and uh, his price has bumped up. I think he even net bought some as well and they've just like doubled in price. Um, crazy card anyway and the four star skills has made him even better especially for you guys who love picking him in draft. We then have Kennedy as well. He has a bronze card striker for Chelsea and also a left mid upgrade card for Chelsea which is this one you see on the screen. He has gone from two star to, four, uh, to three star even though a lot of people think it should have been going to four star. Now I'm going to put a little bit of a disclaimer here guys. I hope he, like EA might be gradually doing them, but there's not that many out on the on the market. No big players, and this is a final one, guys. The only reason I found it was because I've got him in a draft and I was playing with it. He's going from a three star to a four star. It is East uh, Insigne from Napoli. Um, got loads of informed versions all the way up to 85, I think. His team of season is going to be a four star as well, and this is the big bad boy which everyone has been looking to get. So a solid little player. Um, Four star skill moves, and he's the biggest one. We then move on, guys, to the ones which potentially could have got upgrades. Depay, still four star. We got Martial, who is a four star on head to head. He is still a three star skill move here. We have Paul Pogba. A lot of people thought he might jump up to a five star skiller. He's staying at four star. And the final player, which a lot of people are pissed off about on Twitter and other social media, is Mares, has been overlooked, even though he is a five star skiller on head to head. He is a four star skiller in Ultimate Team. So he's not the only one, and these aren't the only batch guys to get overlooked looked by FIFA. Um, I don't think Alex had a direct relationship with EA on this one as he did help him last year um, select the skill upgrades. It's come very, very late into Ultimate Team um, and uh, like as you can see guys, the full list, there's only a few players, Abubakar, Faguli and Insigne and mainly the three I care about. Gomez, 
if he's not a four star, I don't really care anyway. And he's a defensive style player, so I can't really want me to do much with him anyway. So, guys, if you have enjoyed the video, if you do find any more skill upgrades which I've not covered in this video, feel free to comment down below and help other people out in the comment section. Leave a like rating, smash over 6,000 likes, share with your friends, and obviously subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. We're coming back at you tomorrow, guys, with another video, or later on today, actually, as it is Friday as I'm making this video. Um, so make sure you do check back out on the channel then. But there, guys, keep an eye out on my Twitter, keep an eye out on EA's Twitter, as there may be a full list published by them. So guys, see you all later. Have a very, very nice rest of your day.